How to remember horizontal and vertical lines? People get very confused with horizontal and vertical lines, especially little kids. That is why in this video we will be learning how to remember horizontal and vertical lines using mnemonics. This video would also help you build your clarity, so that you can never again get confused. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss out on more legendary videos. Here are the 5 techniques to remember horizontal and vertical lines. Technique 1. The Horizon The horizon is the place where the sky and the land meet, it is a horizontal line. Fortunately, the word horizon and the word horizontal sound very similar. So now you know what the horizontal line, the vertical line becomes the exception. If you learn one line, the other line becomes easy. Technique 2. Mnemonic Phrases Making use of simple mnemonic phrases also works. Here are a few mnemonic phrases that you can use. I am sleeping while you are standing. Run through the corridor, horizontal, and climb up the mountain, vertical. Flatbread eats a tall cake. Those were just a few ridiculous phrases. You can also make your own if you want to. Technique 3. Simple Associations This technique works by making simple associations between the word and its actual meaning. Here is how it works. The word horizontal sounds similar to horizon and means flat. Therefore make a funny association between the words horizon and flat. There were 1000 flats on the horizon. The word vertical sounds similar to verdict and it means straight. Therefore the funny association would be, a straight line was making an all-important verdict at the court. You can use these associations or make your own associations. The choice is yours. Technique 4. The Cricket Stumps Cricket stumps have two components, the bales and the individual stumps. The stump is vertically arranged and the bales are horizontally arranged. This is a cool analogy that you can use to clear your confusion. This technique works especially best for those that play cricket. If you do not play cricket, then think of a tree. The trunk grows vertically and the branches grow somewhat horizontally. Technique 5. Draw with the first letters. Just doodle some funny images using the meaning of the word and its actual spelling. This serves two purposes. One it helps you remember the meaning and two it helps you with the spelling. The images on the screen show you how it can be done. Very simple and effective. So making things visual has a lot of learning benefits. Conclusion So those were the five techniques that you can use to remember horizontal and vertical lines. Which was your favorite technique amongst them all? Let me know down in the comments section below. Do you want to learn more techniques? They are available at my website memoryyogi.com. Link in the description box below. Share this post those that you think would find this useful. Till then cheers to legendary horizontal and vertical lines.